Hi friends, today I am going to show you about classification of distribution systems. These are basically classified according to three categories nature of current, type of construction, scheme of connection. Nature of current. Again, there are AC distribution system and DC distribution system. Coming to type of construction, there are overhead system and underground system. According to scheme of connection, there are three types radial systems, ring main system, and interconnector systems. Okay, let us discuss about AC distribution system. Primary distribution system. And secondary distribution systems are the two parts in the AC distribution system. Coming to primary distribution system, it is a part of AC distribution system which operates its voltage higher than general utilization. The most commonly used voltages are 11 kV, 33 kV, 66 kV. This is carried out by 3 phase 3 wire. The figure is here is observed in the figure 3 phase 3 wire. Here there is 33 kV. And the 11 kV. This is how the substations will receive power through main substation. And secondary distribution system. It is a part of AC distribution system, which includes the range of voltage that consumer raises the electricity. This employs 400 by 230 volts, 3 plus 4 volt system. You can observe here the all the houses are connected as shown in the figure it gets 20 volts the factory gets 3 plus supply ok now go, to, now go to DC distribution system DC distribution system are two types 2 by DC system and 3 by DC system the system of distribution consists of 2 by system one is positive and other is negative wire the loads are connected in parallel between the two wires. This system is not used for transmission purpose due to the two efficiency, but employed for distribution of DC power. The figure is like this. As you observe here, two wire system. Okay. Now three wire DC system. This consists of actually positive wires and the negative wire at middle. This makes available two voltages consumer terminals. V between any positive and neutral and 2V between the positives. By this we can use both voltage and high volt loads. The figure is shown here. Okay, now overhead and underground system. Distribution system can be overhead or underground. Overhead lanes are generally mounted on wooden concrete or steel poles. Where underground system uses cables, manholes, etc. The choice between these two systems depends upon a number of factors. Let us discuss about it. The factors are public safety, initial cost, flexibility, faults, appearance, fault location and repairs, current carrying capacity and voltage drop, useful life, maintenance cost. Interference with communication circuits. As shown here, OH means overhead, UG underground. <coughs> According to public safety, which is better? Underground system is better. Initial cost. Initial cost is very less for overhead lanes. Flexibility, overhead lanes only. It's more flexible than underground. Faults, fault detection can be fault account to faults underground. There are less faults in underground system. Appearance underground is very good. Fault location and repairs underground is not good. Here the over, overhead is good. Current carrying capacity and voltage drop. Overhead lens. Useful life also underground will go. Maintenance cost. Coming to maintenance cost, 
here the underground system plays role. Interference with communication lens. Overhead lens will interfere with communication, so it's not taken with an underground. Okay, then radial system. In this system, separate pair is radiated from single substation and feed the distribution at one and only. This is a simple distribution system, but if any fault on the feeder or distributed cuts off supply to the consumers who are on the side of the fault, this cause voltage fluctuations at consumers terminals. So this is used for short distances only. The figure is like this. Radial means you can understand very well. We are absorbing the light from sun. So this is a radial system. The radiation is coming directly from the sun. As same principle apply here. The substation is sold here. The feeders are there. This is the radial system. Mm. Next, Ringman system. Coming to Ringman, in this system, primaries of distribution transformers form a loop. The loop circuit starts through the substation bus bars, make a loop through the area served and returns to the substation. There are less voltage fluctuations as consumer terminals. The system is more reliable. If any faults occur on any section, only the fault section power will be interrupted. Right, coming to figure here, the substation and the shown is appears like a ring structure. All the distributors taken power from this ring type structure as you appeared here. Okay, um, interconnector system. Interconnector system when the feeder ring is energized by two or more than generating stations, then it is called interconnector system. It increases the service reliability. Any area flood from one generating station during peak load hours can also be flood from other generating stations. This increases the efficiency of the system. The figure shows like this. As it is interconnect, means load sharing from other countries, from two generators or more, more generators. Thank you.